Hello, welcome to Complete Chiropractic Healthcare and the website of Dr. Greg Arnold, www.pitchingdoc.com. Today we're going to be discussing my January 6th, 2015 pitching newsletter, uh, what to do uh, in the next two weeks, next two months uh, before uh, baseball uh, school tryouts. And if you look under the link, uh, under the date, there's a link uh, for a PDF uh, that will pull up. We usually give you a little bit better of a reading versus the website page. So with uh, only eight weeks to go before school, baseball tryouts. Here are a couple things that you can do to help yourself get ready. Uh, number three is to long toss three times a week up to 120 feet. Now, the current maximum long toss distance recommendation by the American Sports Medicine Institute uh, is 180 feet, but I would recommend that you keep your throwing distance to 120 feet right now uh, as it's January. Now, where does the 180 foot uh, recommendation uh, come from? It comes from a 2011 study, and if you go to my website, you can look at the my February 8th, 2011 newsletter, uh, The Harm of Improper Long Toss, and it discusses the uh, the 2011 study that was done that showed that 180 feet is the maximum distance you want to throw uh, regarding uh, long toss. So if we continue to move forward, um, and then if you want to learn more about the specifics of long toss, more about the science, uh, techniques, why it's so valuable, uh, you can subscribe to my, uh, my baseball video library um, on my website, and here you can watch a one-minute video uh, that will talk more about why the, the video library is so important, the information is in there, and one of the uh, topics that we do discuss is how to properly um, long toss. So uh, the second thing that you can do is not get on the mound until you've long tossed for at least two weeks. And the reason why this is so important is because long toss is not about arm strength, but it's about perfecting timing. Okay, Everything has to be done in a, in a certain sequence called the kinetic chain. And if you get on the mound too early without throwing enough on flat ground, your timing is going to be off. You're going to increase your arm stress and increase your risk uh, for getting hurt. And if you go back to that 2011 newsletter that I just discussed, they showed that pitching off a mound at 60 feet actually puts more stress on your arm than throwing 120 feet um, on flat ground. Okay, so uh, the final thing I'd recommend is to make sure that your shoulder uh, is properly balanced uh, in the rotator cuff. And the way you can figure this out is to make an appointment in my office to go ahead and get strength tested uh, with certain software. And this will give us a strength ratio. And what you can do is you can go to um, the link on my website for my arm injury prevention exam. And uh, here you'll find a video uh, that will discuss uh, why the arm injury prevention exam is so important uh, and can give you an idea of just where your shoulder stands regarding its strength and whether or not you're truly uh, baseball strong. So I hope you found this newsletter valuable. If you have any questions, you can please give me a call uh, or you can send me an email, pitchingdoc at msn.com or visit my website at www.pitchingdoc.com. Thank you.